Well, hey the team, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to some more Shadows of Doubt. So, we're on the trail of a bit of a serial killer, and we've got a couple of things to look at. We want to get into the security offices of the two different tenements, because this dude's not really leaving any clues. He's dropping a, a, a calling card, but no fingerprints or anything like that, and how on earth are we going to pin him to the scene of the crime? Like, for example, uh, if we pull up the resolve, right? Killer's full name, arrest the killer, evidence that places him at the crime scene, optional. Well, that's going to be hard unless I, you know, because he's not leaving prints. Where does he live? Have you located a murder weapon, right? This is all very, very tough. Uh, there's a good chance it's someone that works at the uh, Albion Networks because that's what links the two victims. But so far, there's no fingerprints, no nothing, no murder weapon. Um, so I'm going to try and get the surveillance from the two different locations. Um, and in order to do that, I need more lockpicks. And we've sort of let time pass to the point where we're at, we're in business hours now. So what I'm going to do is try and find somewhere to, somewhere to sell my loot my ill-gotten stuff, which I feel a bit bad about, but it's, hey, it's done. The opportunity was there, all right? You know, I took it, I seized upon it. And I'll tell you what, the fines that I ended up potentially with, that faded away to nothing, thank goodness. I think I got up to a potential fine of like $5,000 at some point. Oh my goodness gracious. So, pawn shop to sell off my gear. And, um, and I think maybe hardware store to, to buy up bits. Oh, my zoom's working. Thank goodness. So, hardware store's there. And I think there's a pawn shop. I think that's what the pawn shop is. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so let's do that. Um, yeah. I think that's where we're at. The other thing that we could do is try and break into the files of co-workers. Since I, th I, I think we've got a pretty strong argument that it could be the co-workers. And maybe we can find some info there, you know? Um, how can I help you? What are your opening hours? What are your opening hours? 10 a.m. to midnight. Every day. Very good. Am I in the wrong spot? I'd like to buy something. Oh. Rope, dumbbell, syringe. No, I feel like... Why is it pointing me over to here? What about you? I want to sell something. How do I do that? Buy slash sell? <gasps> Buy slash sell. Let's get rid of this disc. I know that's probably a really good upgrade, but I just, I don't want, I don't want to be caught with it. Trophy. Pocket watch. You can have this random plunger I picked up as well. Oh, hmm. Okay. Was there always buy slash sell or is it just here? Regardless, now I am loaded. I have a thousand dollars. That's wild. I'm thirsty and hungry. I could probably... I could probably fix that. Oh, here we go. What's this? This is an Asian fusion place. Let's go. Oh, hang on. Oh, there's a place right here. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. What about this place? Hello? Are you open or not? I think they're open. Sit down. Here we go. Where's your menu? Oh, 
I, can, I don't think I can sit in booths. Oh, I can. Order. Yeah, let's get some noodles. And, uh... Dragon dog. Oh, wow, look at all this stuff. And I'll wash it down with a cola. Look at that. Yum. Drink noodles. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think something broke in my animation, so that's okay. There we go, that's better. Throw noodles? I don't know if I want to do that. Um, okay, that's fine. Get up. I might have other s more serves of noodles, like spam noodles. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, cool. Well, that's good. That's a good start. And then we know that this is a hardware store, and I'm I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that we can buy more paper clips and lock picks and all that sort of crap from here. Hello. I'd like to buy something. Yeah, okay, so you can't sell. So it's only, yeah, very good. Utility knife and a screwdriver. Um, there was a black market in a basement somewhere, right? That I could... Do you have a phone? No. Where... Address book. Where was this black market? I'm trying to remember. Horn shop. Midnight Enterprises. It's a cool name. Rogue Enterprises. Come on. Smoldering and Partners. Stone Silver Hammer. I think we're going to have to, yeah, we're going to have to find an underground. Butterscotch Hardware and Rental. Black Market, market Sink Clinic. Right. That might not be the exact place oh no I yeah but I know that wherever this block is it's in the basement of a tenement that there are other places there god all this just for some lock picks man down here down here all right so you I think maybe you Oh, don't give me this. I wonder if they recognize me. The chick saw me when she was on the toilet when I was robbing her place. Oh no, you're someone different. I'd like to buy something. Password. Oh, no, are you kidding? I just want some lock picks, man. Game.
Well, now I'm running out of ideas. Where am I going to buy lockpicks from? Pharmacy. I don't suppose I don't suppose a clinic would sell them. Now I'm getting desperate. I just need lock picks, come on. Hello? Teapot. <laughs> oh, hello. I'd like to buy something. Splint. Oh, no. Okay, we'll check the help. Alarms, security, break and entering. Enforces, doors, fingerprints. Lock picking. Each lock has its own strength. Not that helpful game. Player apartment. Player apartment? Yeah, I don't have an apartment though. Um, case board. I don't know, man. Was it about spatter? Splatter? Hang on. Blood spatter can often communicate how a citizen was killed. Ah. Laceration from a blade. They might have been poisoned. Oh, wow. I don't know what to tell you. I, I'm I'm kind of a bit stuck here because because this is what I need. Pharmacy. We're just gonna have to go exploring inventories and see what we can come up with. I like that scaffold. That's cool. Toothpaste, dental floss, cleaning spray. Are you kidding? You selling the exact same stuff? Wait, syringe? Poison? You'll sell me poison, but you won't sell me lockpicks. Straight razor, insulin injector, birth control. Oh my god. You know, I'm getting desperate, like, what about City Hall? Maybe the laundromat? Bar? Oh no. In this episode, Scarlet runs around trying to find paper clips. I don't really have a choice though, like, 
What's the point of an economy if I'm not really motivated to spend it on anything? <gasps> what is this? What is it? Thirty lock picks. All right, City Hall. City Hall sells you. Oh my God! Yes. Oh, handcuffs. Nice. Door wedge. Oh, bro. Device using for use for breaking numeric codes. <gasps> Buy that. Oh my God. Bloodhound Tracker, small radio device that can be planted on a citizen to track their movement via the map. Alternately, it can be secured to a wall and alert you when somebody goes past it. Oh, ballistic armor. Oh, my God. Camera? Camera. How good's the code breaker thing? So... The code breaker goes in my inventory here. Right. So good. Alright, now we're now we're cooking. Oh my god, right when Scarlet was losing hope. I never doubted for a second. Alright. So, what's the code breaker? Let me think about this. The code breaker would give me a password. Yeah, yeah, but it's not going to give me like a computer password, is it? Do you know what I mean? All right, let's go to Ian Delgaz's place. What would the code breaker work on? A device used for breaking numeric codes. Oh, can be used on keypads or even keyboards? Hang on, keyboards? I've changed my mind, we're going to Jones Tower. We're going straight to the security office. This seems OP. Is it like a one use thing? music so spot on So good! Oh wow, it's actually just brute forcing. You can see it doing it. That's so good. Okay. What is this guy doing? 
he interfering with the security system? It occurs to me I might need the admin code breaker used. <gasps> it is a one shot. So, what is that dude doing? So I think I need admin. I think I need admin access. Damn. What's that doing? Who's playing with the alarm? All right. Lucky I've got lots of money. Back to City Hall we go. Wherever that is. Where'd you go, City Hall? Oh, you're just next door? Yeah, that's City Hall. Oh, I can feel it. I'm getting closer. I can taste it. Seventy-five bucks. Management admin. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> I love this game so much. And it just keeps adding more and more cool stuff. I didn't even know this was in it. This is it. Monday. Lobby. First. Which floor? Nine oh four, floor nine. Right.
Whoa, hang on. Unknown citizen. Um. Where is the time of death? Seventeen fifteen, Monday. Are you kidding? That's it. Forty-seven, forty-two. Toggle flag on footage. That's, uh, I think that's him, maybe. Her. Female. Suspect. Okay. Now we've got to get into the Maya building. That's the best I've got. Alright, we're getting there. Let's buy another code breaker. Oh man, I can feel it. Can you feel it? Now, we found the security room previously, and then we ran out of lockpicks, right? There's the crime scene. Okay. Candy wrapper, eh? Oh, dude, wait, is this logged in? <gasps> no way, it's actually logged in. Has this has this dude just walked off with it logged in? Oh my god! Oh my god! Time of death: seven a.m. Tuesday. Third floor. Wait, what? Why is it already a crime scene? Hang on, hang on. Piece of victim has been slashed. Between 7 and 8.15, Tuesday, January 3rd. Why is it already a crime scene? That, you reckon that's a glitch, maybe? No, 
no, no, no, no, no. Who are you? Trinidad Ortega. We know you. Yeah, why is it still a crime scene on Monday? Yeah, that's got to be a glitch. I think that's a bug, to be honest, the police tape. Oh, no. All right, well, we're going to save it there. <laughs> bit of a cliffhanger. Though I wasn't recognizing the same face. That's a bit frustrating. But Trinidad being there right at the time of death is not good for her, that's for sure. Um, yeah. Anyway, we'll revisit. Team, thanks again for joining me. Might just leave it there for the time being, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Okay.